Okay. I'm sorry because I just have to uh, put some things in order. So sorry for just connecting. I actually experienced something yesterday which I will actually disclose to today to everyone. So and that is what I'm trying to put together in order for such not to repeat. And I'm trying to make a restitution to that. Uh, yesterday we actually did introduction to uh, so the topic which is the html and uh, css so let's just today was all about html and uh i have this uh issue because i said uh we actually i believe you guys can hear me right yes, yes sir okay yes, yes we can hear you all right so uh oh sorry yeah. i can't hear all right thank you. you thank there. you yesterday you know i told you guys i'm going to share the video of the uh tutorial so i had issue with it since yesterday and that is what i've been solving till now and that is the reason why i actually joined uh early let me put it that way not even late so i had to find a way around it because i i was having an issue with uh the recording of a thing i lost the video but I have make uh, a, a solution in terms of a presentation that actually covers most of these things that we talked about yesterday and it will be added to this video because of uh, uh, so that for those who were not in class yesterday can actually still learn from there because many have been requesting you know uh sending messages to me this this but i've been busy since i left church i've been busy here working on it putting things together so that i can capture at least if it is not 100 percent of what we discussed yesterday it should be close to 80 percent of what we discussed yesterday and even in addition to it more because i had to add i had to uh add more and more to it in form of presentation and i will be adding it to this video today i mean to this tutorial i'm so sorry about that because actually it's beyond my control i never expected it uh the the issue with the video but it has been rectified i think it was the error that came up yesterday that I was trying to struggle with on the system here i never knew that it would affect one of the things that we were doing so it was when we finished i was trying to get the video out i discovered it has been tampered with with uh, one of the errors that came up yesterday but i never i never knew it was going to affect but it has been fixed i have done that and i've been here since to do that so i will actually quickly do a recap of what we do yesterday with a presentation with a presentation which i have put together today so if you were not in class yesterday this is an opportunity for you to actually uh get along with what we did yesterday but in less than 10 or 15 minutes, I should run that up and enter today's topic. So uh, in order not to waste time, you can see that I, I did not even waste time to share my screen. I share my screen immediately because I want to actually capture the, uh, the yesterday home and still commence today's zone without wasting time. That is why I didn't bother to waste uh, time sharing my screen. Immediately I log in, I share my screen. Now let's get the, uh, let's eat the nail on the head, please. Now, yesterday we discussed about. I believe you guys can see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is yes, sir. What, this is what we discussed. Thank you. This is what we discussed yesterday. So I have put it in presentation to make it more faster, so that we can actually wave this aside and enter today's topic. I'm so sorry again. I lost yesterday's video for those that are just joining. I lost the video based on uh, opera. What is it called? Uh, based on software challenge i have software issue yesterday i never knew so but i have put everything that we discussed yesterday at least 80 percent of it together today as a presentation so it will be more of help for you to be able to read along and listen to explanation 
Now, what is web programming? I have here, this is specifically refer, refers to the coding and scripting of a website, whether the front end or back end. Web programming is what specifically refers, refers to the coding and scripting of a website, whether the front end or back end. Then I have here again, I say, now, the introduction to HTML, because that is the main topic. Introduction to HTML. HTML stands, okay, let me make it a full, let me make it a full screen. Sorry for that. Let me make it a full screen. Yes. Now, what is web programming? This is specifically refers, refers to the coding and scripting of a website, whether the front end or back end, whether the front end or back end. Then the next one says, introduction to HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is a standard markup language for creating web pages. This describes the structure of a web page. HTML consists of a series of elements. I don't want to waste time here. You should understand what I'm trying to say here. Stands for Hypertext Markup Language. I said this yesterday. And it's a standard markup language for creating web pages. It describes the structure of the web page. And HTML consists of elements. Elements. Then the next one says HTML versions. We have the, like yesterday, I didn't actually say more on this. I just went to HTML5 and think I mentioned 4. But today I'm able to put together from the beginning and the date uh, which it was actually released. Now, HTML versions. We have the HTML 1.0 1.0 released in 1993. 1993. Then followed by HTML 2.0 released in 1995. Followed by HTML 3.2 released in 1997. Then followed by HTML 4.01, released in 1999. Now followed by HTML 5. The draft was released in 2008. It was a draft, not officially released. 2008, but officially released in 2014. So the HTML 5 that we are working with now happens to be released officially 2014. I supposed to put release 2014. Now the reason why I decided to put 2008 is because you may come across it. Maybe when you are making your own searches, you are making your no Google search and so on. You discover you are seeing 2008, and this man is putting 2014. It was a draft that was released in 2008. Why the main official launch was 2014. 2014. So this is these are the HTML versions that we have. And we are going to be using HTML5 for this class. HTML5 for this class. Now, the next one now is the HTML5, which we are going to be using. HTML5 significantly improves upon HTML4, including new features such as multimedia support, multimedia support, web storage, and offline support. ETC. These enhancements improve user experience and functionality. HTML5 introduces new ways to organize web content. Motis actually, Motis were added. Motis are added rather to HTML5. Features like multimedia support, like video, audio, and so on, in a more better way. Web storage space and so on. Offline support. And so on and so forth. So HTML5 has a lot of features. Features. Now the next one is the HTML template. How does it look like? Now this is how it looks like. The first one is the document type. This is the doc type. Then the next body, the next one, next category, the HTML, followed by the edge and the closing edge tag in that color blue. Then the body, which I have it in color orange. The body opening tag and the body closing tag. 
then finally everything is being enclosed inside the html closing tag that is html opening and closing tag so the head and the body is being enclosed inside the html tag so this is how the template looks like for html all html this is how it looks like this is a template now let's take a look at the html versus the i mean talking of html one two three and so on versus the recent one how does it look like now this this uh page may leave a question may leave you no know, uh question i will say or it will leave you no know, people may be saying ah what do you mean why is this one like this why is this one not like that now pay attention to the screen sorry let me check if there's anyone at the uh lobby waiting let's check please sorry about that 